In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase in a rut. When you describe your life and if you use the phrase, I feel like I'm in a rut, it means that you're doing the same thing every day and it's not that exciting anymore. Maybe your job makes you feel like you're in a rut. You get up every morning, you have breakfast, you go to work, you do the same thing all day and you come home and then you do the same thing the next day. You feel like you're in a rut. Sometimes we use this phrase to talk about relationships. Maybe you're dating someone and you kind of like them, but you're not sure if the relationship is going anywhere and you just kind of see each other every weekend and there's no spark. You might feel like you're in a rut. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today, I think someone drove in and the dogs are barking. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase in a rush. When you are in a rush, it means that you are in a hurry. It means that you're probably late. You need to be somewhere on time and you're you're running behind and you're just trying to get in your vehicle to go. You are in a rush. It just means that you are in a hurry. Uh, so to review, when you are in a rut, it means that you feel like you're doing the same thing every day and it's not super enjoyable. And when you are in a rush, it means that you are in a hurry. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. Let me see if I can find this here. This comment is from Yaroslav. And we have one question comes to my mind. I know that in our part of the world, it is not common to gift an even quantity of flowers. So it should be an odd quantity. So it should be an odd quantity in bouquets. How about Canada? I know in the UK, it doesn't matter. By the way, your beard and mustache are very cool. Ah, my parents and relatives always insist on shaving mine but I am continuing to struggle with them. And then my response is this, thanks for the kind words about my beard and mustache. I think it's my preferred look right now. This is my preferred look. Uh, the most common amount of a single flower to buy is usually a dozen here, like a dozen roses. Although when we make mixed bouquets with all different flowers in them, we usually make them with an odd number because it just looks better. Isn't that interesting? When you make bouquets, if you put an even number, like if you put eight or ten flowers in it doesn't look as good if as if you as it would if you put sorry i'm trying to walk through the sunflowers here it doesn't look as good as it would is if you put nine or eleven in i'm trying not to step on the flowers while i walk out here so yes when you buy a single by the way thanks yaroslav for that comment when you buy a single kind of flower usually you will buy a dozen, a dozen zinnias, for instance, or a dozen sunflowers. Sometimes people will buy half a dozen. But when people buy um, a mixed bouquet, usually when we design it, we try to put an odd number in. It just looks better. So we put in 15 or we put in 11. It just makes a nicer bouquet. I think there's a better balance. And we usually try to put three of each kind of flower. Anyways, enough about flowers, but you can see I'm out in another part of our flower farm. Uh, everything is just blooming and growing like crazy here, and it's been a really, really nice year so far, and we are quite happy about that. The only stress we have is that I go back to teaching in three weeks, so I won't be around to help as much. And uh, it's not that I do a lot, but I do a lot of little things here and there to help Jen. Uh, and when I start teaching again, I won't be available. But we have a plan for that. Sometimes Jen will hire someone to help her. She has a friend that sometimes comes out. Let me check my time here. Oh, I'm almost done. Uh, so that will help out. But uh, yeah, it feels like back to school season. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.